Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing great in your life. In this video, I'll be telling you top five resources to practice SQL. So basically, <clears throat> the thing that happens to all of us is that uh, we learn something through YouTube or content document or read through books, but we haven't actually practiced it. And over a passage of time, we forget that those things and that happens to all of us. So yeah, in this video, I'll tell you the resources wherein you can practice SQL. So this happens to SQL as well. Uh, I've, I've learned SQL uh, multiple times through YouTube videos, but I haven't actually practiced it. And the result was that that every time I uh, I uh, went to practice SQL, I almost forget everything. So yeah, if you are learning SQL through YouTube, just uh, learn through YouTube uh, SQL in one video. And that's all that is sufficient for you to learn SQL. Now the next step would be to practice SQL. So I'm going to be just telling you the uh, website wherein you can practice SQL. So yeah, first one on my list is W3 resources. So why I'm, I'm mentioning this one is because it is very easy and it could be done by anyone like a novice who just don't understand uh, coding at all can start from W3 resources and uh, here they can practice SQL queries, select statements, joins and everything. So they are like a um, very easy uh, one line query you can practice. So that's the started for you. The second website that I'm going to be mentioning here is uh, sqlpractice.com. So they start from easy ones. So easy exercises there are. Then they go to hard, intermediate and then hard. So that is a very good thing about sqlpractice.com. And it is open source. So anyone can uh, like go and uh, practice SQL queries without any like installation or anything. So that's the greatest thing about this uh, website. The next uh, website that I would want to mention is Hacker Rank. I've almost uh, solved all of the queries, leaving one to behind because they were extremely hard. So you can also uh, like once you're done with W3 resource or sqlpractice.com, you can move to this one Hacker Rank because they have uh, comparatively higher uh, like tougher queries in this one. So yes, you can uh, try this hacker rank. This is also very good if you are uh, like going into a role for data analyst or SQL web developer. So that's uh, you need to learn. Uh, you need to practice SQL and you need to practice complex queries. So here you can practice that one. So the next website that I would want to mention is uh, data camp. So data camp is uh, they are like a paid platform, but a lot of exercises in the SQL uh, part is uh, free so those free exercises are very interesting and uh, trust me they are like a, they are a little bit different from what we have learned in uh, previous three so i would ask you to check that out so yeah so the last one that i would want to mention is coding ninjas and uh, I personally like it very much because uh, they have the hard queries and uh, if you're like a uh, working as a data analyst you need to uh, upgrade yourself writing complex queries. So yes, uh, you should check that out. They have a like statement written over there and uh, uh, after you read the statement, you have to start writing the queries and no need to install anything just like a sqlpractice.com. So that's the best thing about these websites. And yeah, you should go and check these websites out. And after you're done with uh, these five websites that I've mentioned in this video, you should go on the Kaggle and uh, search SQL projects there and you will find a lot of data sets for uh, SQL projects and you are uh, like uh, if you're just a beginner and you just want to ace it you should practice those because SQL is the center of data analysis and if you are in uh, like if you've decided that you only want to become data analyst so then SQL is not ever going to leave you so yeah uh, create a Kaggle project and add it in your resume your resume would ext look extremely good and I hope these uh, points are helpful for you and if you guys like my videos please do subscribe to my channel and never uh, like if you have any query related uh, to data analysis salesforce salesforce data analysis salesforce business analysis anything that you have in your mind you can post that in the comment section below i'm very happy to answer every single query that you have in your mind or if you have any suggestion for me please do write in the comment section below i'm happy uh, to take your suggestion yeah so that's it for this video i i'm saying goodbye to you for now bye bye